Welcome to Scoob Music 1.6. <laughs> This is just a quick video to introduce the main features of the Scoob Music software and we also have this video feed of how I'm touching my Scoob interface so you can see how the two interact and we can get them set up. So this is the main Scoob Music window that has our on and off controls on the audio, a record button for recording our performance. This is where I can drag loops, uh, WAV files and backing tracks and control them here to play along with. This is the USB reconnect button and the Scoog wizard. It's important to note we do have a full user guide bundled with the software. Just click help, select user guide and up it will pop. It's a PDF and it's got all the information there how to use your Scoog and get it set up. This is the main Scoog window. So this is where we set the different uh, instruments, notes, sensitivity and these kind of things to get the Scoog set up for playing. So this is the main Scoog panel which can give me feedback as to where I'm touching the Scoog and important to note that it's sensitive all over so the white portions are also sensitive to interaction so I can play using the edges or on the coloured domes here and play it in lots of different ways so in combination with the sensitivity I can set it up to be played by a whole range of different uh, styles and abilities. There's the main sensitivity controls there, just a little button to increase or decrease the sensitivity of the whole Skoog. Main volume and uh, mono and poly controls there. This is where I can choose notes on the notes panel. I can select different types of scale, major or minor. But it doesn't have to be scales, it doesn't have to be pentatonic scales. It can go user defined and then I can take that uh, A there and change that to a C sharp. There we go. And uh, save that later, and it gives a you know we can set the notes how we want them. It is limited to five notes at a time, uh, but those can be any five notes, and we can change those as we're going along. This is the built-in scores, which gives me a kind of color-following way of playing its music, and we can just click that, display it on screen, jingle bells, follow the colors to play. This is the advanced settings panel where I can adjust the sensitivity of the Scoog mm. by surface here. Uh, you have a separate slider for each of the different surfaces and I can create a custom user profile to really adjust the Scoog to meet the needs of an individual. We've also got the main twist tilt controls here for those uh, expressive parameters there. This is the instrument selections tab. So here is where I can choose different instruments. Uh, something more percussive there. Just click on an image of an instrument to choose it. There we go, up here. And up there. Uh, there's uh, a range of different, different instruments here from brass, woodwind, percussion, and some strings there. And just click on an image to select the instrument. And you have to wait until that uh, selection box appears over the image to know that it is selected. There we go. Uh, this is the uh, sampling section of the software where I can record samples, drag samples in, pitch them, all kinds of stuff there. Uh, lots of good functionality. And this is the MIDI panel where I can turn MIDI on or turn it off and I can choose to send MIDI to other programs or just use the built-in MIDI sounds on the sound card there and select from the sort of standard list of general MIDI instruments. So those are the main features of the software. I'm just going to go back here and choose myself a pentatonic scale. just want to give you a quick example of how easy it is to start making music and playing music with the Skoog using, say, the pentatonic settings, which really helps if I don't know what notes to play for a certain song. It just means I can tune the Skoog to be in the right key, and then if I know what key a piece of music's in, I can just play along. So I'm going to go up here. Let's choose the clarinet there, and then... If I go grab a WAV file, a little backing loop I've got, and I know this is in A minor, so I should be set up to play along. And then just by touching the screen, I 